Martinez Pason, Martinez Pason, Martinez Pason, and then obviously the acting as well. The acting was brilliant. Dean John Smith, Edwin van der Walt, and Martinez Pason. Your day is not going to get any better than that. Today I rendezvous at a cock and bull story directed and designed by Martinez Pason. Dean and Edwin have both been described as two of South Africa's leading actors and are performing at the Studio Theatre in Monte Cassino until the 26th of June. Well, it was very beautiful for me to see how the young actors played with each other. It was this, the set was alive, how they had this beautiful tango going on, how they gave and, and took from each other and they really incorporated a beautiful uh, uh, visually movement dance piece and that was brilliant acting for me. Dean John Smith, when did you realize you have a love for acting? Wow, the, way back. I can just remember long time ago I knew I want to entertain people mm. and uh, then I found out, oh wait, there's an industry like that. So <laughs> and I was like, why not? Yeah. So yeah, since I can remember, oh, obviously at first you have that dreams too, I want to be a policeman or a doctor or whatever, but yeah, since I can remember, this was the one thing that stuck. So yeah. yeah. And what would you say attracted you to take on this theatre piece? Um, this th this specific theatre yes, piece? Yes, with Martinez. Oh, also. well, because one, it's Martinez. <laughs> Do yes. it. No, we read the piece, uh, Edwin and I, we read the piece and it was, we realised it's very challenging. Physically, emotionally, it's all that kind of stuff. And we, both of us, we love being physical. and physical and acting, combining the two, and it pushes you, it's, uh, there's so many levels, so we were just like, this is flipping amazing, it's an, like Martinez uh, describes it as a, a, a real actor's piece, it mm. challenges every actor that plays in it, so we were like, why not, yeah. let's give it a go. Yeah. Now, as you say, it's mentally and physically really challenging, I started my, in the audience and I was just like, okay, I don't know how <laughs> many hours you, you know, rehearsed and yeah. stuff, but how would you say, did you prepare for it mentally and physically? Well, rehearsals, repeat, repeat, repeat the whole time. No, um, I must say, uh, physically, I wasn't uh, fit for this part at all. <laughs> I had to go for some boxing lessons and I, I had training. Uh, I had a trainer and like full on training boxing and everything. And then after that, I, I can still remember the, the, the first few times we did the show. I was like, we were busy. I did the skipping and stuff. And then later on, I was like, can we just. Can we just wait for a while? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't yeah. go on, but mm -hmm. later on you just got used to it. And what, what, you, what I can remember is, I know personally that there's a difference between being fit in general and then being fit for the stage. Yeah. So we had to combine the two, uh, but I loved it, yeah. Um, now, as an actor yourself, how would you say do you deal with rejection in this industry? In this industry, I think, to be honest, it shouldn't... You have to have like a, a thick skin, I should say. Um, I can't, there's a lot of people that's going to hate you, there's people that's going to love you, you can't, you can't make everyone happy, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just going to be like that. Um, some people, and especially for when you go for the audition and you don't get a role, it's not like, oh, you suck, you're not cool at all, it's yeah. not like that. It's, they look at different stuff, so you have to be your own judge and you have to be like, listen, even, and just take the positive out of whatever anyone says to you, so if they say, no, look, you are bull I don't like it you were just I hated you just be like okay she hated me that's fine but she said I should work on this so get the positive out of what everything I'd say and that's going to push you to the next level I think personally yeah um, a cock and bull story was ongelooflijk amazing geweest it was, it was so intense geweest I got the show gekeek 10 years terug to Niels van Jarsveld in Quentin Krog and it was and um, it was insane geweest I had a good friend with um, met Edwin it was great to see um, what they made the story made from these days and, and, and now and I think a man has to look at it because it's something else um, in Afrikaans and Engels and it's a new generation of actors and, and, and drama turkey that everything is so um, yeah, so check it out, it's fast and nice. A cock and bull story, I thought it was great. Especially what Martinez did with it though. I'm so glad that he's back here and he's back in Pretoria and in Gauteng and doing things here. So I'm glad for that and he's just a master of theatre. He's like the king. Edwin, having acted in films, how would you say does your mindset differ when it comes to theatre work? Well, I'd say it's a lot more focus and discipline in theatre. Yeah. Um, not that in film you don't need it, obviously you need it there, but it's, uh, it's other strategy you need to approach in, in theatre. Um, it takes a lot more physicality and mentally a, a lot of more work. 
um, especially in the rehearsal process. So I think it's it's a lot more focus and, and discipline. Yeah, yeah. Now, what was it like working <laughs> with Martinez Pason? Amazing. Amazing. He is, yeah, he, I mean, I love that guy. He's, he's, he's such a genius when it comes to theatre um, and, and even film. Uh, he's, he wants to actually do some films now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it's amazing working with him. He's got a way of directing that you don't even realise he's directing you, which I think is the best way yeah, to yeah. direct someone. Um, so he will tell stories sometimes off, off, the, off the show, off the theatre piece, and you'll go on with the show and then you'll realise, oh, he just directed me without yeah. even saying anything. So <laughs> it's just amazing work, working with him. and. Um, he's got such a beautiful art and, and yeah, he cares a lot for theatre and, and people, so it's, it's amazing. Mm. And having been in Ballade, Hollywood in my eyes, Die Brau, Klein Geld, which is a short film, and Modern Blood with a few coming out, what do you think about the rate the film industry is growing? It's amazing. Um, I, think it's, I think we're in such a blessed type of era now because I think there's, there's especially young actors now want to get into the industry I think it's, it's amazing because so many films are being made and there's people that sometimes says yeah they don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing because there's a lot of films being made but um but I think it's a it's a it's a really great thing because it's so much more opportunities people actually try to make quality stuff and um, yeah I think we're in a very blessed uh, type of era what would you say have you learned about <coughs> yourself up to this point in your career Change a lot, eh? Um, I think honesty. It's one of the one of the the stuff I've actually learned in my own life personally, and even doing um, plays like this. I mean, honesty is is huge in life in general. So that with this play especially is is huge for me. So honesty, I would say, is, is something I don't. People don't. I think always of me didn't always you know realize I wasn't that honest to yeah. anyone you know you meet someone you're talking you try and people please them because yeah. I don't know for some reason but we do exactly so so it was um, finding that stuff out is, is is one of the things I've learned guys that's it for this week's episode do yourself a favor and come and support Dean Edwin and theatric genius Martinez Pason incredible show physicality emotion incredible thank you guys for watching and see you next time <laughs>